Hey love, so it's your girl April, so you guys already know what time it is. This one right here is by premiumlacewigs.com and the unit that I am about to show you guys comes in this nice see-through kind of like mesh bag. This is a 360 lace front and it is 150 density and it does come with cones and an adjustable strap in the nape so you guys know all about the 360s you can put them up in high ponytails high buns you know you can do loads of different styles so like I'm showing you guys here it does have combs in it and I went ahead and washed this already because I don't really like the factory curls it also comes with some elastic so if you like to sew elastic then you have that along with some bobby pins a comb to style and give you like the perfect parting also you do get some really cute lashes you guys know I wear individuals so I won't use those a cap and a brochure so yes you guys the first thing I suggest is always using a small pair of scissors to cut the lace off of your units this just makes cutting much easier also you don't get like one of those really sharp straight blunt cuts I do like the short uh, curve scissors because those just give you like a more natural look so definitely check your local Walmart for the curve scissors I highly suggest those now I'm not going to be bleaching any knots so I'm going to go ahead and use my pressed powder and along with that I'm going to use a makeup brush to just brush some of this makeup pressed powder on the inner portion of my wig. You can use any pressed powder that you feel comfortable with um, more or less something that will match your scalp um, as close as possible. And I'm also going to go ahead now and just undo my head wrap. And as you guys can see, I do have my own baby hair situated because I just find it a lot easier. Sometimes I do use the wig baby hairs, but I won't use a lot, so I do like to put my own down. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and use this wig grip band. These do work. I love them with my scarves, but they do work on your wigs, but you will need to kind of like place them a little bit further back than your hairline because it will keep or it will make your wig a little bit higher in the front, so I definitely suggest moving it it back a little bit but they do keep the wig from slipping so that is one thing that I really do like about the wig grip I'm just gonna go ahead and situate this and like I said I did wash this prior to me styling it right here um, just because I don't really like the factory curls it is a deep curly unit and it is 18 inches 18 inches and it's Brazilian hair so um, premium lace wigs does have some really affordable units so if you guys are looking for something that's really really affordable then definitely check them out this wig is is really pretty and full so if you definitely like really full hairstyles then definitely check this one out I do like this one a lot um, you guys know I like the Gorilla Snot Gel um, to me I just like it a lot better than the Godspeed because it doesn't flake and the hold um, is just about the same for me um, I definitely use this for my baby hairs and it holds my baby hairs in place probably like three to four days if I don't pick at them but definitely I do like the Gorilla Gel much better than the Godspeed because there's no flaking I'm just gonna take some of the wig baby hairs and lay them down just to give me a more natural hairline but normally I don't take a lot of the wig hairs only because I don't like a lot of gel all over the lace you have to clean it out so I just try to avoid all of that by not using so much of the wig hairs and that's yeah basically super easy as you can see this wig is so pretty and curly and full I really do like curly hair you guys know I love curly hair or wavy hair because you don't have to do anything you just wash and go and it's just easy to style now the parting on this is really nice looking as you guys can see do you see it does look actually like scalp and I do like to wear like a wig cap that'll match my hair or excuse not my hair but my scalp um, and that's what makes um, the wig look a lot more natural definitely get yourself a wig cap it will come complement the wig and will also complement the fact that it looks more like scalpage you know what I mean you won't have to do too much work um, I think that wig caps that are more or less like flesh tone are really really great because like I said it'll give you a more natural look and you won't have to do a lot of work so I'm just trying to show you guys different styles because I do like the hair like I said it's very full it is 100% 
150% density. Um, you really don't need to do a lot of finger combing, but it's very natural. The hair is super soft. And for me, when it's this big and full, I really don't like it too long. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna wet the hair. This is conditioner and water mixed into this bottle. And I'm gonna just wet the hair so that way I can basically just style it a little bit and try to put it up in somewhat of a ponytail. Um, I really don't put my wigs up into a ponytail, but I thought I would give it a try or just a go for this one. But also just to show you guys what difference a little bit of water and um, conditioner will make on the unit. It does give it a little bit more curl and you can just fluff it up and it does also makes it look a lot more natural. So that's the one thing that I do suggest when you get a wig, definitely wash it because you'll see the exact texture just take an entire different look. As you can see, these curls are beautiful. They're popping. They look really, really natural versus when you first get the wig and it's an, like a factory curl. I don't really care for those curls at all. So definitely wash your wigs, especially if they're curly or wavy. The texture will take on an entirely different look. And that's one thing that I really, really do like about curly units and I highly suggest. So here we go with the ponytail. So of course, you know, I got to put the sides down, glue them down, gel them down, whatever. I don't really use glue. I used to back in the days. I used to love to use the glue and I would use like the tape and then my wig would be on for like two weeks. I mean, I would do like a lot of work for like to wear a wig, but being that they make them so easier for us to wear now, I don't really like to do too much. Like I said, I really don't like to gel my wig down on the sides because I don't really do a lot of these styles, but just for the purpose of this video I wanted to see how this wig would look in a high or like medium ponytail Now, of course, I probably should have tweezed the hairline a little bit more But you know, it's trial and error, you know ever since this video I have gotten a little bit better with tweezing the hairlines um, Sometimes I get a little bit scared and I know that I'll get carried away So that's the one reason why I really didn't like to tweeze my hairlines But now girl, please I feel like I'm a pro at it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down the first portion or the hairline of this wig so that way it'll dry in place and it'll stay on and I'll probably keep this on for like 10 to 15 minutes depending on how I feel so I'm just going to tie this super tight to give myself like a, a wig headache a scarf headache whatever and I've already wet the hair and dampened it so I'm just going to put it up in a ponytail and voila there you have it you guys this is the look that I came up with for this hair like I said it's very full hair so you definitely want to wet it prior to putting it in a ponytail but I think it looks so cute you know what I'm saying especially if you like wearing a ponytail out it's a lot of work girls it is but you know what it was definitely definitely worth it so definitely check out premium lace wigs I will post all of the info below along with this wig right here which is the deep curly Brazilian 150% density and 18 inches and it's a 360 lace front so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me so much as much as i love you guys and i'll see you in a soon to come video bye